Well, hello, Internet. You will not believe what I've got in my hands right now. No, it's not that, you rude person. It is this, a brand new Pentax. How exciting. So excited I am about this that I'm actually wearing man nappies to prevent any premature urination from soaking through my track pants. Anyway, in the words of the great Tom Jones, what's new pussycat? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. And whoa, before we get to the camera bit, here's this bit. This video is sponsored by The Great Courses Plus, a subscription on-demand video learning service where you can enjoy lectures from top professors from around the world. And back to this all-new DSLR. Yeah, it's a DSLR, and yes, this is 2021. I mean, just check out the hair, that's very much 2021. I would usually have such an unkempt appearance, wouldn't I? A DSLR in 2021, and why would you buy this and not mirrorless camera? Let's check this out right now before we digress even further. Before we go anywhere, I must mention that is a crop sensitive Karen, but this is very well put together. It's very solid, weather sealed, and it's got a fantastic grip. I mean, that's one thing you can't beat with DSLRs, good grips, and this has good grippage. And as far as design goes, it is very much Pentax. In all the ways that will make Pentax fans get gooey with the geeky gunk over this. Yet at the same time, that idiosyncratic pentax this is going to seem about as cool as MC Hammer's pants. Well, oh, look at that. I love that. I love that little green LCD glow. It's fantastic. And it glows green because it's Pentax. That's their colour, yeah? And I just love the menu system. Info screen's there. I don't know why, it kind of reminds me of just 16-bit era video games. You know, look, I just, you just got to love Pentax for that. I feel like I'm playing a game. That's like if you play some old 16-bit football game. And then it's like skill, pace, shooting. How many shit tattoos you can put on one arm, etc. It's fun. Buy Pentax. It's great. Enough of the geeky gunk. The truth is, Pentax always packs in more features than Boris has kids. The more you look, the more you'll find. But anyway, yes, DSLR, so it has got an optical finder, and it's got a pretty fantastic one. It's quite big for a crop sensor camera. They use some kind of distortion compensation system, something or another, something, some geeky terminology. Basically, it means that um, it makes it big. I guess distortion compensation system makes it sound better than it makes stuff big. But it doesn't just make stuff big, obviously it reduces distortion. But yeah, that's what helps it to achieve a 1.05 times magnification. So that makes it huge. It is huge. And that is still one very good reason for shooting DSLRs. And they say it's got a longer eye point for anybody wearing glasses or with massive noses. DSLRs aren't all that dumb in 2021 when viewfinders are this good. What else is new? Oh, there's there's a smart function button on the, on the top here. So you can assign up to five functions with this button. So you can keep your eyes firmly fixed onto that viewfinder. So exciting. In terms of resolution, not that high, but it's a backside illuminated 25.7 megapixel APS-C sensor. So it should be good enough in low light. Yes, it's good. Oh, it's got film simulation. I wouldn't call it a film simulation, changing the colour profiles. So basically you can choose saturation, hue, high, low, key, contrast, sharpness. That's just the picture profile, isn't it? Check this out. Hey, what a noise. Wow, it sounds more impressive when you take the lens off. It will do up to 12 FPS bursts, 11 FPS with continuous FPS. I mean, still nothing beats the sound of that. When you consider that has to flip a mirror, it is quite respectable. I mean, still you can't beat that impressive sound of a mirror flapping up and down. 11 FPS, not bad, and the focus is nice and quick. It's got a Safox 13, I don't care what it means either. AF system with 101 points, 25 cross type, 41 selectable, and that joystick nipple thing works great for selecting those points. And it's got IBIS, it's got five and a half stops of in-body stabilization, that's not bad. That's pretty much all you need to know about it. Oh, and it shoots 4K, but no tilty flippy screen, kids. There's no tilty flippy screen, so you can't vlog with it. I'm sure some will complain about that, but still, they managed to fit it in a touchscreen that is bigger and higher res than an A7S III screen. But anyway, I'm sure it's probably not that impressive 
for 4K video and does shoot 4K video. Just in case you're wondering, what is the Pentax like for vlogging? Well, this is what it's like. I mean, I'm holding like this. With the stabilization, hopefully it should keep it quite stable, but I'm not too sure what the 4K video will be like. Not great at all. But still, I don't think many will turn to Pentax for shooting video. Most will look to mirrorless for a video and stills combo. In fact, most will look to mirrorless and not DSLRs. And there really is not many good reasons to still shoot with a DSLR, other than the fact that you have this hugely solid body that lets you see through an optical finder. And the body and the finder on the K3 Mark III is as good as you'll get for crop. It's just that it all comes at a price, $2,000 or £1,900 body only. Sadly, as much of a niche a Pentax DSLR already is, they aren't doing themselves any favours by pricing it in a way that will only appeal to the most hardcore of Pentax users. Now this bit is about the sponsor of this video, The Great Courses Plus. It's a subscription on demand video learning service. Now I've been using it to learn new things, can't travel at the moment, so I've been filling my head with useful stuff. Lots of home time, so I've been trying to improve my rather abysmal French and German language for when I can travel. Now some of you might feel the same as me, but textbooks can be a little bit dry. I need a teacher, I need something visual, which is why this is perfect. Actual lessons taught by top-notch lecturers from across the globe. And of course, it's not just about languages. With the subscription, you get access to a huge library of over 11,000 video lectures, including science, maths, history, literature. But then you've got other stuff like how to cook and improve your photography skills. But you know what? There's a free trial. So if you want to learn new things, just give it a go. It's free. Link is down in the description below. Check it out.